it's so special because it's what you've dreamed of since you were a kid. Of course. You know, those, those rings have so much significance. That Team GB, I'm now part of Team GB. Yeah. Um, it's special. I made your doo-doo and this is Sporty AF. Sporty and female. We all want each other to do the best we can because it's better for our team. We could be racing each other in the 100 meters, but we're all vying for each other to do really, really well. A brand new series from Team GB. Like when I see the rings on like correspondence, I'm like, oh, that's me, yeah. I did it. Like, yeah, yeah I still oh, get really me. excited. That celebrates everything that's amazing about women in sports. Our mums are like a massive inspiration for us because they did it before. This is our chance to hear from real Olympians. By the nature of athletics, it means that we have male allies and that they are rooting for us. And I don't think they see us as female athletes. I'm an athlete alongside my training partners. About what life's really like as a woman in sport at the top of her game. Let's get started. So we all know it's like one team, one dream. But what is it really like being on Team GB? I feel like it is really one team. You just have this instant kind of connection, I think, with athletes. You've got similar training schedules. You've given up similar sacrifices throughout your life to, mm. to get where you want to be. It's so interesting to hear how everyone's kind of the same, but a bit different. Yeah. So yeah, everyone's really interconnected in that way. How do you find out you're on Team GB? I feel like it might be different for different sports. Yeah. But for us, it's, it's the call. You get a phone you get call. The call. And sometimes it's like from a private number. <laughs> I'm making oh it sound so like MI5 of I them. Know, yeah, we don't get that. We don't get that. And you're like, hello? And then you, you recognize the voice straight away. It's like, you've been selected for the Olympic Games. You pick up your kit on this day. And you're like, ah! It's, it's like the best moment. Oh it really is. Oh my gosh. Is. Where were you when you got the call? I was at home in the garden with my friends, but I knew that the call was or wasn't going to come. So I was kind of like... You of course, because it's like a question mark. Yeah, it's a but, question mark. Right, yeah. So like, my phone was on loud and every time like, I would hear this like, I'm like, oh my God, oh my God. Because <laughs> oh. um, you know the yeah. meetings happened. You know they've had the selection you know meetings. You've had, so you know waiting. the meetings happened, but you don't know when it's going to happen. It's, oh it's a lot. It's so tense. That is yeah. so nerve wracking. Definitely more nerve wracking than waiting for like a boy you, you fancy to text you back. <laughs> <laughs> kind of just watching your phone. <laughs> oh, it's not him. Oh, it's it's not. <laughs> Do you get a call as well? I think in athletics, everybody gets a call, but some people already know they're selected. There's certain criteria that you can, you can hit. If you jump a certain distance and you win the trials, for example, then you're guaranteed to go, but they still have to call you to officially officially welcome you to Team GB. Oh, right. The call, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You need the call. It's, it's, Say it. <laughs> Tell me. Tell me everything. <laughs> and you get a letter through, wow. um, which officially announces with the Team GB logo on it, with the Olympic rings on it. Oh. It's so special because it's what you've dreamed of since you were a kid. Of course. You know, those, those rings have so much significance. That Team GB, I'm now part of Team GB. Yeah. Um, it's special. Wow. Yeah. Do you get a call or do you get no. told in the well, pool? Well, anything as dramatic as that. I really yeah, wish yeah. we did. We got a letter through for Tokyo. For us, it's just qualifying at the qualification event. Every time I get like correspondence from Team GB, yeah. I'm like, thank you, oh, thank you. Yeah. I'm like, oh my God. Yeah. Like when I see the rings on like correspondence, I'm like, oh, that's me, yeah. I did it. Like, yeah, yeah I still oh, get really excited. That's amazing. You've got to frame those letters. I think yeah. my mum's yeah, so. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Our parents Someone, are in control. Yeah. 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 Someone's got that covered. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's amazing. You know what it is as well, is Team GB do so well in making you feel like you're part of something. Yeah. So when you walk into the prep camp before the Olympics, you go out early to whatever country the Olympics is in. There's a, a camp ready for you so you can prepare. Acclimatise to the temperature and the time difference and things. And they kit out the whole place with Team GB banners. There's Team GB bunting. There's the front desk with a big Team GB on it. So when you enter the building, you're like, I am part of this team. Mm -hmm. This is me. I am Team GB. Even though there's people from sports that you've never met before, straight away you're like, you have this kind of kinship with every other athlete because you feel like we have earned our spot on this team and now we're part of something special. You're part of something big and beautiful and it is good to hear. We all know that we have what it takes. Mm. We all know that we have the right mindset. We all know that no matter what happens, we're going to do our best to win this competition. And yeah. that is the most empowering thing that I think I've ever been a part of. Do you think it's really important to have role models and people to look up to? 100%. I think if you can see it, you can be it. Mm. And it doesn't necessarily have to be someone with in your sport if you're seeing someone working super hard like we do towards something that is such like a finite goal something really really dedicated and detailed that can rub off on you and that can inspire you so i think it's really really important just passing on the button quite literally in your sport <laughs> <laughs> it's harder than it looks you know Babe, i know it's harder than it looks <laughs>
<laughs> I can't even catch. I think what helps is that we've all known each other for a really long time. We obviously compete against each other too. So we all know that we have that edge. It is like an edge. It's an edge, right? Because these are your competitors, but we come together for this common goal. Yeah. But because of that, we all know that we have what it takes. Mm. We all know that we have the right mindset. We all know that no matter what happens, we're going to do our best to win this competition. And yeah. that is the most empowering thing that I think I've ever been a part of. Wow. You do relay practice before individual. Yes, we so do. So you about to race them yeah. in the race of your life. Yeah. But the day before, you've got to be buddy buddy and be on a team together. <laughs> Like, talk me you through know, that. As you say, it, I'm like, it is actually quite wild. Yeah. There is a separation that you do have. Like I said, you're not thinking in the moment, oh, this is my competitor. Oh, I want to get an edge. You're thinking, we want to get a medal. We want to get it, preferably for it to be gold, no matter what event it's in. And you go into just business work mode. And I think mm. all of us are really, really good at doing that. Yeah. And we had a lot of practice in doing that. For me, it really isn't a problem. But when you look at it that way, it is kind of strange. Yeah, you know. Exactly. One minute you're with Dina, the next minute <laughs> you're against her. Like this. <laughs> Good luck, babe. <laughs> I might have to leave you for death. <laughs> I would say, even though we are competing against each other, when you're competing for Team GB, you do feel like you're competing on the same team. Yeah. So even though it is that kind yeah. of like, you, you must have the same thing, yeah. you guys must have the same thing. We all want each other to do the best we can because it's better for our team. Even if it's for the relay or for the team holistically, we could be racing each other in the 100 meters, but we're all vying for each other to do really, really well. Yeah. So I think that is a good dynamic to have. That sounds so nice to have this very strong female support system. But do you think it's really important to also have male allies in the sport? The nice thing I think about track and field is that it's always men and women. Mm. You, you can't go to a women's track meet, you can't go to a men's track meet you go and you watch everybody. So that integration of men and women is just a part of the sport as it is. Okay. I've had mainly male coaches and they don't distinguish between their female athletes and their male athletes. We all train in a group. I don't think there are many sports where men and women routinely, as standard, train together. You know, most team sports, really it'll be separated. Whereas athletics, I pretty much every training group that I can think of is integrated with men and women. Mm. So by the nature of athletics, it means that we have male allies and that they are rooting for us. And I don't think they see us as female athletes. I'm an athlete alongside my training partners yeah. and I compete in this event and you compete in that event. And it just so happens that they're both long jump and mine is women's long jump and yours is men's long jump. We don't make that distinction, which I think is really positive. The male coaches that I've had have been great at being able to manage issues that might be unique to female athletes, but in the same stretch, they don't treat us any differently yeah. when it comes to competition, when it comes to how hard they want us to train and when it comes to how much they want us to succeed. Yeah, absolutely. It's just a different dynamic. Obviously in our sport, it's very female dominated. Mm -hmm. Men now coming into our sport as yeah. well is quite inspiring to see them coming from no one doing it and then they're kind of building their way up as well. It's kind of, I guess, similar for what we did in sport as like females trying to make a name for ourselves and now to see the men in our sport trying to do that is, yeah. is really nice to see. What's incredible about that as well is essentially, you know, in a in a female dominated sport, you're actually inspiring men yeah. to then <laughs> become fellow athletes along with you. So that's incredible to yeah. see too. Who inspired you growing up and who who's inspiring you now in in your sport? Our mums are like a massive inspiration for us because they did it before. I think at the moment though, like not just in our sport, but just in every sport like for example watching jasmine do that seven meters it's seven meters isn't it it's yeah. just just seeing people like that and celebrating other people it's just it yeah. inspires me to do well any yeah. winning moment you see on tv like yeah. the like the seven meters or like when tom and matty did the diving yeah. and they won like any moment like that whatever sport it is everyone just comes together and it's just it's just crazy that yeah. like the adrenaline you feel from someone else's achievements and it's just like you kind of claim it as your own a little bit when it's someone from Team GB. Everyone else's success is rubbed yeah. onto you as yeah. well. It really is. Like, I remember when um, Tom and Matty got the gold, yeah. we were in the prep camp and mm. the, the feeling that everybody had, the, the mood, it was jubilant. Everyone was yeah. so excited and it, because it, it felt like ours. You know, yeah. we're so happy for them. You understand what it means to them. Team GB do this giant wall in the Olympic Village with a photo of every single member of the team. And so you can find yourself next to somebody who you consider your own Olympic hero. Wow. Um, so everybody that's made the team has their, their image up on the wall when you walk into the building. It really makes that feel so special because you're a part of this wider team that's doing these amazing things. You know, the medal, there's a medal board where they put up every, every medal that the team wins. And you go, I'm a part of this. That is this, incredible. Like when you saw your medal go up, it must have felt like, oh, my, like, I was going to say, I was like, oh my God, I remember that. And I remember it happened like as soon as we got back, all of our names and the, and the, and the bronze medal. And I was like, 
God, that is unbelievable. Unbelievable yeah. scenes. Yeah, like, unbelievable. It, but incredible. You better believe it. <laughs> <laughs> you better believe it. I would say proud, like proud to be part of a big team, the Team GB, yeah. and proud to be working together. I would say ready. I'm ready. What do you think's most important when it comes to being in a team? What are the, what's the skills that you need? I think being genuine is the most important thing. And sometimes that isn't the pretty heroic superhero stuff you see. If you're having a bad day, sometimes it looks like telling your teammate, I'm having a bad day. We have this, like you've said, this interconnectedness that we all have such a specific lifestyle that not many people can relate to. Yeah. Be genuine, be yourself, lean on each other. I think that's where our power comes from. Obviously we're working towards the same goal and we both want to do as well as we can. So it's just finding ways that we can do that basically. Being able to communicate well with each other. And as you said, if one of us is having a down day, then helping bring each other up. I find it so fascinating with autistic women. First of all, how do you hear the music? Yeah. <laughs> Through the water. Everyone else, like, yeah. like, yeah. How do you yeah. remain yeah. on beat? Yeah. Like people can't remain on beat on dry land. Yeah. Yeah. So. yeah, so there's an underwater speaker basically. Wow. So you hear it above and underwater. Mm -hmm. It's actually really disorientating. You're in the water, first of all, it's quite stressful. Then if you can't hear the music very well, you can't see your partner very well. Mm. The chlorine, like yeah, either. it's all in your eyes. You're holding your breath. So it's obviously it's not that fun. You're really out of breath. You're holding your breath, but then you can't see anything either. And you're spinning yeah, around upside spinning. down. And what are we doing? Like slick back ponytail, slick back bun. It's interesting Everyone's look. like, oh, it's such a glamorous sport. And you're like, if you knew what I was, I was doing on the wall, if you knew, I'm there like, gang, like, oh my God, I'm dying. Like, it's and not. the pictures are not pretty. Like, yeah, we, obviously no. we're trying to make it look as nice as we can, but. You yeah. make it look easy, but actually yeah, yeah. I forgot. I was yeah. like, wait a minute, I don't touch water without out swimming goggles yeah. for the start. If you're spinning, you can't you can't have anything moving because be you have tight. to see each other. Yeah, exactly. yeah. So yeah. your team bonding is so strong that even when you can't hear, you're disorientated <laughs> and the water's stinging your eyes. You're still on point. Yeah. It's fantastic. Yeah, it yeah. just, it comes from a lot of training. We do mm. so many hours. I think they say artistic swimming is one of the sports that trains the most or yeah, something. It's I'm like, we do roughly 8 a.m. till 5.36 every day. Mm. Um, Wow. Um, except Sundays and then some mm -hmm. days we get like a half day or yeah, yeah. yeah. so it is very physically demanding but half also day. mentally demanding. <laughs> Your yeah. half day is like a full day. Actually. No, but they call I it half day. Like, I so hard. Yeah. <laughs> it's half day for you. We've obviously got so much to look forward to in the sense that Paris 24 is just around the corner. Can I have one <laughs> word to sum up how you're feeling about Paris 24? Just anticipation. I just want it to, I want it now. Can I have it sooner? Anticipation is what yeah. I'm going to give you. Felt it, felt the energy there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I would say ready. I'm ready. Ooh. Oh, oh, that was nice. <laughs> I love it. And Izzy and Kate, finally from you. I would just say proud, like proud to be part of a big team, uh, Team GB, yeah. and proud to be working together, yeah. yeah. So excited, just honestly ready to smash it. So yes. excited for what's to come. I love it, anticipation, pride, excitement, readiness. <laughs> I can't wait to see you all the best of luck Thank and you. keep shining. Thank You're you. already doing incredible things. <laughs>